Thanks, mister. I just think we I don't think I'm going to tell nobody about the book. Somebody. It's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad Uh, I could. That's an idea. I I got this off one of those doll maker things. And I I like it. I like the aesthetic of it. Oh, hold on. I enjoy the aesthetic of it and um I I'm going to make another one, I think, that's a little more mine, just because this is somebody else's artwork, and it's, like, a good place to start, but not mine. So. <laughs> I like I like things being in my own control, because then I have more, more control on things, and it's more likely to be on brand than just what I could find. Just a heads up, I got an ad coming in. We gonna walk ourselves over to the vicar real slow, like. What's in here? Oh, is this cannery? I don't need to be in here. The exit. Also, who else is I supposed to be talking to about money? Barbershop. There's a barbershop. Almost lost a finger in the cannery today. Nothing I could do about it. That's a cantina. That's a general store. OSI. Here Any we go. Yet? Yep. Two whole cans of salt. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. I've always felt weird in here. It's too clean. You want to say something else about it? Where are we headed? We're, we're gonna go. You mean about the mission being too clean? Oh, I, I missed Where what she was headed? saying. You mean about the mission being too clean? Supposed to be clean as a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one ain't never ah, been folk. run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. It just comes off cold to me, is all. I mean, she's got a point. Where are we headed? Is there something else I could ask her? That's on account of how I never met her. Mm. And she did? I don't rightly know. <laughs> she was in another division of the Spacer's Choice family. She worked in the Vale a few months, sorting the cannery computers. Her contract said any kids she had, expected or not, belonged to her office from the time of conception. So when I was born, I got sent here. Wow. Is that normal? Uh, I don't know about normal. Dad said she worked under some kind of special contract. Damn. It's sensible. Dad just fixed machines. She did some kind of crazy math, high-level stuff. Better to raise me on his time than hers. Jeez. That's messed up. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. 
This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Ms. Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. <laughs> I haven't found your book yet. <laughs> Please get it. Yeah, I will. Of course, there's something I wanted to ask you. What would you like to discuss? What do I want to talk to you about? What he asked us to do? But what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, <laughs> answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. <laughs> what has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? I didn't mean to throw you under the bus, I'm just saying. She wanted to talk to you, so here we are. <laughs> Shit, my Appalachia is coming out real strong now. <laughs> yeah, that's as you do. scissors. Fix the will throw that. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. <laughs> Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What do you advise? What do you think of the groups? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? A responsible life choice. So Assuming you your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Is that impossible? Not if things are left to stand as they are. <laughs> Yikes. He, yeah, it's it's definitely one of those like Especially the fact that one of the uh, one of the people I'm supposed to be hunting down is another vicar is really delightful to me. And like this is the um, the scab, basically. Not to put too fine a point on it, but your choice of wardrobe is not precisely common hereabouts. I mean, I kind of guess that. Also, you lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy, like a trapped animal. Pretty well universal then. here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... there's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Is that what we're calling it now? Is it your job to raise that? <laughs> it's terrible at your job. <laughs> yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. Did you just refer to this place as a miserable place? Yes. And thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of you to succumb to distress. <laughs> Boy, this man's a this mess. This place could be so much more. And I will continue in my quest to make it so. This man is a hot mess. I do enjoy it, but yeah, it's not... Oof. It's a oofta. It's a big oofta. Let's see if I can find any of these other people I'm supposed to be squeezing. Let's see, general store. Barbershop. That's one of the people I'm supposed to talk to. Another day at the cannery. Don't go knocking your work. This we've got work. Oh, I cut my own hair. But Conrad sells real good disinfectant. Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. I mean, he's probably not wrong. Physical hygiene recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness 
is next to lawfulness. Oh no, he's doing the cleanliness is godliness nonsense. <laughs> yeah, she she's got a, her own head on her shoulders is a problem. I can show you my hands. <laughs> oh, we found the paladin. <laughs> I mean, you ain't wrong, except he hasn't paid his dues. Relax, I'm clean. So everyone says, until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I mean, he's got a fair point. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. You will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Oh, delightful way to segue into that. Paramount remains for what? <laughs> Burial. In the unfortunate event of a fatality. It's what a barber does. We make you presentable. I mean, he's not wrong. Speaking of burials, this is such a great segue. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. I don't think that these big words are going to stop me. You mean you're broke? <laughs> as broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. <laughs> broke when paladin. I expire, Real sad. I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. You very loose definition of the word prosperity. Some quality drama. Conrad, <laughs> you should audition. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going for the, the fun. You know, I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay, and that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hang on, medical rights. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly. I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Oh god, I'm supposed to go with suggestions? I'll let you know if I think of anything. <laughs> Much obliged. <laughs> well then. <sighs> Who else is I supposed to talk to? Comes now the power. Small grave matter. Comes with four people single edge you can't afford its fees. It might be worth to mention the site list. Guard at the landing pass southeast of Edgewater. She works as a supervisor. Okay, one of them is at the cantina. Or the cannery. I'm a little concerned about walking around town with a gun out though. Like, no one's no one's questioning that. Vending machine discovered. A vending machine. Nanners. Fun. Tech kit. Ooh. Armor. Standard troop helmet. Right control helmet. Ordnance control helmet. 
Chalice Ball Stick. Fun. Dervish Mist. Ambidextrin. Nasal Stimulant. Dehydrated Water Tablets. Ridiculous. It just reminds me of Bioshock, where he had these great little vending machines and it had this giant clown. And um, one of the things they would do if you, you didn't have enough money to pay for something, it would mock you and would go, come back when you got some money, buddy. Oh, they're using Sprats instead of Keltuna. Okay. That explains that. We're looking for a supervisor's office. Realist. You the new worker? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. This paper aren't saying your name. Because they're not my fees and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. That's kind of you, I guess. I could do without the sarcasm. Wasn't acting out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> Law requires delinquent <laughs> gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative, which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. So the guy shot himself. Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon. <laughs> Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Oh man. I was surprised he was successful. That's not great. That's an awful thing to say. Eugene wasn't family. Oh, uh, you say you're close to the relative. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time. Oh of death. my god. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. Yeah, that sounds about right. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. Yep, sounds all right. Yeah, probably that third one for sure. What are you going to do, arrest this course? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Yep. Company, company town gone worse. What if it didn't? Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay. Yeah, for no, it's it's pretty bad. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees, which means he was approved for burial, which means his papers went through, which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace, and the rest of us can get on with our yep. own lives. Unregulated capitalism. It's super messed up. It's super duper messed up. He looks spooky in the dark like that. Here, let's just go down. Can I, sir? Oh, he's coming down with me. My bad. Well, you do that. I'm going to get out of here. It's two out of the four. Let's see who else. One of them was sick. Silas. Let's see if I can figure out where Silas lives. Codex. Quest dependencies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. 
Silas. Whoa. Man, that didn't happen in a while. Oh. I was doing that to myself. Can't go in there. Did I try this one already? Yeah, I think I did. Trash. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. At least you got your help. Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Oh, it's Abernathy. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Maybe. Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Take it easy, Thompson. <laughs> you some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state. <laughs> Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. Knows what? He told me everything. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching, and soon I shall be ushered through the Some great people in, in the skies. And it's down. Don't say that, Mr. <coughs> Abernathy. You still got a couple decades in you. <coughs> I'd steer clear, Ms. Holcomb. My affliction's bound to be contagious. It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. <coughs> <laughs> for the other one. <laughs> it's so messed up. Sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. Huh. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. <coughs> Not gonna help. Depends on what you need. A couple hours out of your day and some light second story work. That's all. I love that I was supposed to give him a twist. The but... and Priscillan tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. Where's that? I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I got some questions. I'll do what I can. Okay, did you just buy some medicine. Assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that. Oh, that's place. different. Marauders, on the other hand. Never mention marauders. It is a reality of life in the Vale. Grass is brown, the sky is gray, <laughs> marauders are outside the walls. Grass is brown, sky is gray. <laughs> <laughs> I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Very Ohio. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Company policy. So if you're sick, you can't have medicine. It's catch-22. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Uh, so you'll do it then? I'll think about it. <laughs> I'll think about it. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. 
Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. I know that, but I got nobody else to turn to. Dude, the drama is delicious. Would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. <laughs> Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. I don't think the vicar would have helped you either. <laughs> I really don't. Also, I love that they were giving me all this shit about how he'd be hard to deal with, and come turn out, the man's just sick. Yeah, probably. But also, I'm supposed to look for Silas Winslow. Who is Winslow? You're not a big drinker, are you? Who's Winslow? Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to, to uh, where am I again? Edgewater. I've been asking myself the same question. <laughs> oh, lots in my spleen now. <laughs> this is so fun. I've been asking myself the same question. <laughs> oh, I ask myself questions all the time. For example, why do we spend money on these fancy little things? <laughs> Whoa. We have a good wall outside. I got a little too much trick. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero G brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? What's injury? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% oh discount gosh. on Zero G Brew. Revolution of Yamaha. The only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> To the second bottle, the only pain I feel is the emotional. Oh man, dude, that's a whole ass mood. Oh, it's not like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. I'll leave you be. Man, these people. I want to see if she knows who the hell Silas is. I don't think I can talk to her anymore. We'll get you mostly drunk at half the price. Spacer's choice. Uh, never mind. We're done talking. Okay, right, I gotta find the Silas fella. General store. Vicar. Found him. Something got you down? Nothing. Just don't want to fall sick. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. Hell is this? Part of the factory, I presume. Uh, that's the back end of something. Where you going? You lost? Yeah, a little bit. I don't know where the Silas fella is. Oh, this looks like residency. Hmm. This one's got lights. Can't get in any of these. Oh, botanical lab. Yeah, I know. We can get there. Chillax. Where is the Silas fella? Well, I don't know. Huh. 
Huh. Where's Silas? This is at his residence, but I don't know where the hell his residence is. Promising. Is this an inn? Me this is where the magic happens. Well, science. But it still happens. That's her spot. Well, I ain't gonna tell you I drank your water, but I did. I stole some shit from you. You'll find out about that later. Terra fried bra sprotwurst? Hey, that's... I mean, if you need it, okay. My dad's... It's an office. Just my office. Oh, you like flowers? I can't find many kinds around here. If you need to go, I'll wait outside. Well, this is her place, so... Where the hell is Silas? Hmm. Been all over the damn town, I can't find him. Station is a guard, the landing past. Oh! Landing pad, southeast Edgewater. He's out of town. Okay. Interesting. The deck of card slogans. I mean... <sighs> Everyone's got a fucking slogan they gotta say. It's a whole thing. I don't know if I want to pick anything. Do I want to pick it? Do I wanna? I only got two picks. Watch out! Cute in the wild, and now they're fighting me. Don't much like that. Oh, they're rabid. Okay, excuse me. Nico pad, there's smokes. Cute.
now you tell me. Come on. I'll take all of that. You want to see something about it? Something you need? In the bar? When I asked if you were a drinker? Sorry. I know it's none of my business. There's a well, make sure she didn't have any information. Yeah, I didn't think it. I mean, sorry. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it's like, well, you must not work for the company, so you gotta be a freelancer. Do they even have to understand what the concept means? You know? I do know sleeping is important. But we're not gonna do it yet. Well then. That went well. Oh, she just walked behind me like she wasn't all the way over here. Explosive? Yeah, those look like explosive canisters. Oh, thank you for that. I didn't even think about it, but yeah, I did need to heal. Thank you. Oh, it leveled up. Lovely. Well, now that I know that that's going to be a thing. No perks? Okay. I oh, saw someone. I gotta say, these worlds are beautiful, though. I mean, look at that. It's so pretty.
Ah, damn you. Okay, she need ammo, she need healing, what she need? Mining gear. Parvati, here we go. Companion ledger. Got a shit ton of these here. Makes me a lot of Festus. Oh, she's got fun. She's good. Here, have a helmet. Oh, I don't have any perks for her. Never mind. I'm not doing all that. Okay. Evicted? Oh well then. Evicted. Cannery. Agree with your direct theories. Your youth director, it's place the colonial system. Sadly, as much as appreciate the border frontier they've opened for us, believe Halcyon and the other colonies that roam the galaxy would fall to pieces or war amongst themselves. The director wasn't about to regulate trade and settle disputes. The corporations would accept the mandate inclusion of Earth Minister if they had a choice in the matter. Oh, love people arguing about politics. That's fun. 